Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to go over some modules that can help to organize your game. The first one I recommend that I find to be incredibly important is Tidy UI Game Settings. What this does is it does a few things in your settings such as organizing all of your modules by alphabetical order as well as taking this and collapsing all of your modules so that if you want to look at one you just press the plus sign next to it and close it at will. Okay, the second one I recommend is I suggest adding in the custom hotbar because your hotbar here can fill up very quickly especially you as the GM with all the potential macros you want to use so having, having that extra space is very helpful and you can color it however you'd like as well. I've changed mine green to be green but I can change it underneath here in the custom hotbar like so in order to change the color of the custom hotbar efficiently you do need to add in the module lib color settings otherwise you have to like look for the hex code it's pretty difficult All right, moving on the next two modules I suggest are compendium folders and the compendium browser compendium folders will help to collapse down your compendium and make things easier to sort through Companion Browser will let you search through your companion very quickly. I should note about the Companion Browser, it hasn't been updated in quite some time. It's no longer actually listed on the setup page for modules. However, it seems to function normally for me, but just keep that in mind if you want to add it into your game. I will put a link down in the description below to where you can find the .json to install it in your modules. The next one I've added in is I added in the tab chat log module. What this module does is it separates your chat log into three streams. One for in character, one for roles, and one for out of character talk. For example, if I make a role on my character, it'll go into this box here and I will not see it here or here. Same thing as if I were to say a message talking as this character, it will appear Oh, sorry, that's the Game Master talking. But if I were to go here and click, so we can see how it is set up very simply, and you can have three separate chat logs. So one for roles, one for out of character, and one for in character. Potentially, you may not want to use this if you like to have everything in one stream. I like it for my games to have everything separated into neat order, uh, but it's personal preference. As a note, if you want to talk in out of character, it's just slash OOC, and then you can send any messages. Or you can just click the box and then talk like so. All right, moving on to the next one. Similar to the custom hotbar, there is another place you can store macros. Using the item macro module, you can add macros directly onto an item. And then depending on your settings, you can have the character be able to activate that macro through their character sheet. For example, on this dagger, I have added in the macro. This is a fire field macro that I brought in from Token Magic. So if my character clicks the macro here, we can see the shield will appear over top of the character. So it just adds in another place where your players can store their macros so it doesn't bog down their hotbar. I've mentioned this module before, especially when talking about D&D combat. However, I find the Token Action HUD module to be particularly helpful in organizing everything on one line. So looking at my character, instead of opening up my character sheet and having to sort through everything, I can see inventory here, spells, features, skills, saves, checks, utility, very quickly, and I have access to everything. If I need to take a long rest, I just click this, and I am done. So it makes things very simple for both of you the GM trying to control all of the various monsters and NPCs in your game as well as the players so they can have quick access to everything on their character sheet without having to actually open it up. All right, to wrap things up, the last one today, very simple, is the display mode. Not so much of an organization, rather just a, an appearance changing one to hide all of the UI when you don't need it. Okay, that is where we will end things today. I hope this video has helped to give you some ideas about how you can sort through things in your game, how you can work to organize and make things run a little bit smoother and a little bit more efficiently. Thanks, everyone. 